and your grace and peace. Praise the Lord. Christ up however you approach someone to say hello. Come to you. I go by the name of Saint Boy. Come to you with this new blog, School in the Clouds. New new things I'm gonna be doing when I'm gonna just be schooling y'all on some, on some Christian biblical type stuff. Things that I think people need to hear. I know I got family members that need to hear about Christ, need to hear this and that about Christ. So I'm gonna be doing these school in the clouds thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's first blog I want to talk about a Christian. Um, I'm a Christian and I'm a real one. For y'all that don't heard that Bizzle song, I'm a Christian. I'm a real one, and I'm gonna tell you. It's really the definition of being a Christian because it seems like it's a lot of people got it twisted of what a Christian really is. Um, yes, a Christian is a believer in Christ. We believe Jesus died for our sins and he rose on the third day. And now he's sitting on his right, on the right hand of his father on the, uh, uh, on the throne of, in heaven. Um, we believe that Jesus is God, as if a lot of religions don't believe that he is God, they believe he's just a prophet, but we believe he is God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. It ain't no other way to God but through Jesus Christ. So all that talk about um, it's different ways to get to him, it's all about what you believe in, it's wrong. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to eternal life. He's the only way to make it to heaven. That's, that's the meaning of being a Christian. Now, coming within the being a Christian is what's within of being a Christian. If you say you're a Christian, profanity is not supposed to come out your mouth. You're not supposed to be cursing. Uh, if you say you're a Christian, you're not going to be the type that drink liquor, vodka, any, any of that stuff, beer. You're not going to do it because of the Jesus that's inside you. He doesn't want that stuff in his temple. Um... Another thing for being a Christian is um, it's a lot of debate about this music, secular music, and things of that sort. I'm gonna say that you're not a Christian. A real Christian is not really gonna listen to it, secular music, due to the fact that it promotes sin. We're supposed to hate sin, and um, sin is in all of us, and we're trying to get away from sin. So why would we want to listen to something? that's promoting sin, something that God hates and tells us not to do. And some of us struggle with different sins. We are sinners. So why would you sit there and listen to something that promotes sin? So I say a real Christian not really is going to listen to secular music. Um, a real Christian is not, if he's not married, he's not going to have sex. You may fall short or you may have a hard time, um, but you can get past it. Um, you can pray and ask God to give you the power, to give you strength. As he, as it was told in the Acts that you shall receive power after the gift of the Holy Ghost come upon you, and I believe that. So uh, a true Christian that's not married is not going to have sex. A Christian is a person that's married is not going to go outside of his marriage and have sex, which is adultery. Um... A Christian is not going to put anything before God. And I mean anything. Um, cell phones, uh, TV, games, um, anything. Anything you do more than worshiping or pleasing God, that's your God. That's what you worship. So think about what you're doing more than putting in time for the Lord. That's your God. Um... A Christian, a Christian really is, is, is a loving person. We love. We don't hate anyone. We love everybody, even um, the ones that denounce Jesus as God. As far as Muslims and Buddhisms and and um, any kind of Scientologies, any other religion, we love them. We just disagree with what they saying that Jesus is not God but he because he is God um we love everyone the gays it's been a lot of talk about this gay stuff I'm not gonna get into that I maybe another video on that but the gays we love them just don't love what they doing 
Um, a Christian is, you're not a Christian because you go to church every Sunday. Or you're not a Christian because you sing in a choir. You're not a Christian because you go Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. That's, that's not the meaning of a Christian. Them just duties that a Christian going to do because it's in them to do. Um, a Christian is a person that do what God say. So if he's saying something in the Bible, you're going to do it. Or you're going to pray and ask him to help you to do it. You're going to make it your point to do what he say. So if he's saying not do something and you're doing it, you're not a Christian. It's not a definition of a Christian. So um, I think I pinpoint everything. Um, if I'm not sure. Uh, love, yeah, love. It's basically just loving. And um, Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. For all the ones out there saying that they love Jesus. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. I didn't say that. He said that. So um, if you say you love Jesus, think about his commandments. Think about what he's saying. Are you doing what he's saying? Uh, even Or if is you at least trying to do what he say? So there's something to think about. Um, again, I'm a Christian. I'm a real one. I didn't say nothing about I'm perfect, because ain't nobody perfect. But when it comes to that Bible, to loving Jesus, that's me. I'm a Christian, I'm a real one. It's the same boy signing out, school in the clouds. I want to shout out to my brother, Dominique. Hopefully me and him can get back to them daily Gospels. Salute.